what's up Rafikis, it's Risper and so today I'll be sharing a recipe which is a Kenyan pilau um, Kenyan pilau is rice with potatoes and beef and it's yummy and it's oh it's so good looking at it I'm already hungry so let's get started uh, for the beef I like to boil it so that the beef is uh, tender and moist and juicy so I will put in a maggi cube that's just one maggi cube that I put in there then the next thing I put in some potato uh, some onions and some tomatoes if you have a food processor that would be the best thing to do to process it but I don't have a food processor so I just cut them um, I just use my chopping knife and cut it off. The next thing, I will add in some salt to taste and I'll add in some pepper to taste. After that, I'll go in and put in my meat. I'm using beef and I cut them in really big chunks. That's how I like them. And I have my beef all washed. I use lemon and apple cider um, vinegar to wash my meat. Mostly made of spices. Spices is what gives that taste. And what I'm gonna use is a curry powder, garlic powder, cumin, uh, cardamom, onion powder, and some cloves. And um, you could blend it and mix it up but I don't because I want to take the cloves out at the end so the next thing I'll do in my pan I will put in some olive oil and then let that get a little bit hot then I'll put in my spices mix them really good and make sure uh, they cook it's like roasting them but at the same time making um, the spices cook it smells like my house smells really good right about now okay for the rice I like to soak it in warm water this is to prevent the rice from um, becoming mushy or um, so that the rice can separate easily and also to clean it real good so once I soak it I know all those germs and whatever <laughs> the grains are all out so right now my spices is all cooked I'll go ahead ahead and added my onions and sorry guys um, when I started filming this um, I had my tripod and then my doggy hit it and it broke into pieces so right now I'm just holding with one hand and cooking with the other so sorry about that and you can see I'm mixing in the onions and the spice is real good I'll let the onions get translucent some people like it a little dark I don't prefer it really dark I prefer it a little bit translucent where I can Okay, after that I'll go in and ha add in my potatoes. You can use as many potatoes as you want or the less potatoes as you want. I don't remember. I think I used five potatoes. Um, then I'll go ahead and mix in with the spices and the onions and make them real good. Okay, so my meat, my beef is done now. So I'll go ahead and take out the um, beef and all that and put them in a bowl. Um, make sure guys don't, don't pour out that um, water because that's beef broth and it's really yummy and that's what I'm gonna use to cook the rice it has a lot of spices a lot of tastiness from the meat from the spices that we use please don't throw it away it's like liquid gold okay so once my potatoes and a little bit cooked I'll go ahead and, and add in my beef and make sure mix it real good like I told you guys I am using one hand so I did go ahead once I put the camera down I did mix it real good so that to my liking and then I'll go ahead and add in some turmeric. I like to add turmeric for the color and also for the benefit of it. It has good, it's a good spice. I use it for like almost everything. Okay, since I'm using a half a cup of uh, rice, I did use three cups of the beef broth and I put it in there. Make sure I mix it real good. Added in some salt to taste. And again, I mixed it real good. <laughs> now my rice is all clean. I did rinse it, like to be honest, like five, six times. Um, Right now I'm trying to scoop out all the rice from the bowl. I will go ahead and mix it. I like to make sure every bit of rice is covered with the spices and the water and the beef so that I don't have some rice that is not cooked. Okay, now I'll go ahead and put in a lid and cover it. I do use some foil to make sure that all the steam is maintained in the pot and I lower my temperature to medium. And let it cook for about 10 to 15 minutes and this is the final product I did go ahead and put it in the container that I stole it in the fridge and we made some kachumbali which is tomatoes and onions and lemon and salt and yummy goodness so here's my final product the one in the purple is Marnia's plate and the other one is my plate and that's how it turned out so guys if you like this video go ahead and give it this a thumb, thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so that you can watch more videos i love you guys bye bye